Well, it's Friday, July 26th, and um, here we are. Uh, got the hangar door open today. It's really nice out there this morning. So hopefully we're kind of getting a little bit of a break from our high heat that we had this week. Uh, we're gonna continue on with this door, probably get this all riveted up and get started on the other door today. And just to follow up and the parking brake, uh, still good on that. That was on since yesterday morning. So we're over 24 hours on that and no leaks on it at all. So we're uh, gonna consider that resolved um so yeah uh this is what uh we're working on today so here we go also something i didn't uh didn't go over i don't think i showed too close was uh where we did the holes in the center bow tube and where the two halves meet up uh, we did give spacing in here for this to meet up and give space for the rivets but it still ended up being a little bit closer than that so I used this, one of these Dremel things. I think it's you a got high it? speed router bit? No, it's not a high speed router bit. Mm. Um, but it's, uh, I don't know, I call it a like a diamond dust. I think that's what they referred to it in one of the other books. And I don't know if that's what it is, but it's just a rough, straight bit for a Dremel. And I went through and actually rounded these edges on both halves of this uh, window just to give it a little bit more room in there and did that on each of those. Went through, actually when we had this Clico, it went through with a marker and marked those uh, where they all were and then I went through and just uh, took a little bit out of there so it gives it some room for the rivet and also used a solder iron to burn through uh, these rivet holes here solder iron is the tip was a little bit too thick i couldn't get it all the way through so i did it from one side and turned around and hit it from the other side but um so that is what uh, i did on that and um hope that works okay looking through the book here i think this is actually technically a what'd you say ceramic tile, yeah, it's tile cutting bit. a ceramic tile cutting bit which makes sense you can cut tile with that but works really good on this stuff all right we're getting started on this and we decided what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to put the center bow uh, strip in here and that's got that vhb on the back side so as i previously said we had burned the holes through uh, for all the rivets and what we're doing now is just I took and uh, on the center rivet hole, I just put a slice in that VHB tape so we could peel it back from the center on either side. So we're peeling it back and we clecoed it in, peeled it back, cleco, cleco. So we're just doing that as we go. We've got the, the backing tape here. We can just peel that off, pull that as we go and we'll get this all cleco down and then we'll start riveting we're going to rivet from top down so we're going to go center out and then top down uh, to the bottom and then we'll finish up by doing that center bow tube Yeah. 
All right, got everything riveted up on this door. Only had one issue, and that was this second rivet in here. Uh, the hole got wallered out just a little bit. The hole on the bottom got wallered just a little bit, and so it was a tiny bit oversized, and so that mandrel pulled out a little bit on that rivet, so I, uh, we cut that, or I, I mean sanded that. We sanded that, that mandrel down, and you saw we did the did a 41 rivet here we knocked the mandrel out and squeezed that with a with a rivet squeezer Ugh. and it flattens that flattens that back side out same thing down here except this is with a 1 8 inch rivet or not a 1 8 a 40 APR 1 8 uh, rivet and uh, you can see like we've done in the past on other things we wrote uh, on here which rivets go where uh, in this process to make sure we got everything just right. All right, you fit the door up and uh, you find the center line uh, on the tube that's on the door uh, over there. Uh, get the center line on that forward tube and mark it on here and we're going to cut this I'm going to cut just a tiny bit probably forward of that line and then we end up we'll sand this back uh, so it's just a little bit behind that uh, center line on that tube All right, got our door finally fit up here. And I will say, uh, the best tool is that belt sander. Man, that it's, uh, you can take really, actually a very precise amount of that plastic off and make it nice and even all the way down. So we've got our little bit of a gap. We've got about, a, I think a 16th is what they call for in there. Maybe it was a 32nd. Anyway, we've got that gap in there. And then we, long time ago, we did a center line on that that tube there and same thing there we're just just behind the center line on that tube right there door seems to be fitting up pretty well i did do one thing down here and that was where this skin makes this corner i just notched this out so that that'll fit i don't know if that's going to make any kind of a difference or not once we get the door latch in but uh Happy with that. Uh, we still need to do the rubber trim up on the top on the inside. Did have to radius this corner just a little bit so it would clear this tube. And also did have to trim a little bit off of this rear here and then I radius that corner. If it's, if it's sticking up above this tube here, it's gonna catch and uh, bend out. Um, so I just Trim that just a little bit off and uh, everything's looking good there. Got the door installed here uh, with the, the gas strut. Got that in. Um, we didn't do the latch yet. We're gonna do that uh, after we get the second door done. So we are going to get started on door number two. All right, not too bad of a day today. Oh, here comes the hanger partner. Nope, there he goes. Uh, not too bad of a day today. Uh, I think we were in the upper 80s, but the hanger stayed fairly pleasant today. We were able to leave the door open, and uh, yeah, not, not too bad. All right, wrapped up for today. And um, as you saw, we got this pilot side door all done, minus the latch. Um, yeah, so that went okay. Got started on the uh, other door, and that is going much, much faster. Um, so we've got both of the upper and lower 
uh, upper and lower windows are fit up and cut and ready to uh, well we've got them drilled uh, a 30 we'll need to upsize those to a 27 before we re rivet those in uh, but yeah making some pretty quick progress on this second door amazing how that happens once you do one and you go to do the second one it kind of comes together a little quicker so uh, yep yeah, we'll be back again tomorrow and um, see how far we can get then so everybody thanks for watching the videos hope you everybody has a good day and that is it for now